Friends and family called Forrest E. Mars Jr. a visionary who held a strong set of business values he carried with him in work and life that made him a positive force in the world. He is remembered as a businessman and philanthropist. Forrest was born on August 16, 1931 in Oak Park, Illinois, the eldest son of Forrest Sr. and Audrey, and the grandson of Frank C. Mars, the founder of Mars, Inc. He grew up with siblings John and Jacqueline. Here he is with his brother. Forrest attended the Hotchkiss School in Lakeville, Connecticut before going on to earn a Bachelor of Arts and Science in Economics from Yale University in 1953. He then attended graduate school at the New York University Leonard Stern School of Business, earning an MBA in 1958. He started his career as an auditor for Price Waterhouse after serving as a finance officer in the U.S. Army for two years. Forrest joined Mars as a financial staff officer for the M&M's brand in 1959. At the time, the company had sales of less than $100 million. In 1962, he moved with his family, which would soon grow to include four daughters, Victoria, Valerie, Pamela, and Marika, to the Netherlands, where he oversaw the construction of what is now one of the largest chocolate factories in the world. Forrest moved with his family to France in 1966 to become the managing director of Mars France. It was during his tenure in Paris that Mars expanded its pet food business and Forrest began bringing the company's portfolio of products to new territories. By 1970, the family had returned to the U.S. where Forrest assumed the role of vice president, overseeing the company's confectionery operations group. There, he worked with his brother John and the two eventually became co-presidents of Mars. At this time, the company's net sales had grown to just over $1 billion. Today, Mars is a $35 billion business with more than 85,000 associates worldwide. During his time as president, Forrest, along with his siblings, established what has become the driving force behind every decision that is made at the company, the five principles of Mars. These values, quality, mutuality, responsibility, efficiency, and freedom, were first taught to the siblings by their father and continue to form the foundation of how Mars does business today. Forrest never missed an occasion to talk about how he wanted to conduct business and the importance of the five principles. He brought the principles to life for associates and helped put them in context of how living by these principles made for a better business. In 1998, working with the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute and the Smithsonian Migratory Bird Center in Panama, Forrest initiated the first global working session to discuss the future of cocoa. Representatives from 22 countries, the World Bank, the United Nations Development Program, USAID, academics, and members of the NCA all came together to collaborate on this unprecedented effort. Here he is that same year opening a pet food factory in South Africa. Forrest retired from the company in 1999, having overseen tremendous expansion of products such as pet food, vending, money operations, as well as helping navigate surging demand for the company's confectionery brands. He is recognized as a driving force in Mars' successful push into markets in Europe, Asia, and South America. His love of seeing things being made is perhaps reflected in his choice to become a rancher in his retirement. He was very hands-on and liked producing things from the land. Despite his retirement, Forrest continued to mentor and guide many of Mars' business leaders, hosting them at his ranch. He served as a member of the Board of Directors and remained active within the Mars Foundation for years after his retirement. Forrest was proud of all the Mars brands, quick to share stories of their histories and successes, and was a passionate advocate of the benefits they delivered. He also had a healthy dissatisfaction with the status quo, a perspective that drove Mars associates to think bigger and better. He loved manufacturing and connecting with Mars associates on the factory floor. He enjoyed eating in the cafeteria with the associates and hearing about how things were going. He was intrigued by manufacturing processes and the possibility for leveraging them to create innovation and a competitive advantage. Although well into his retirement, he is credited as an inspiration behind innovations in manufacturing and new product launches as recently as 2016. Committed to the exploration of ideas and science, in 1983, when specific knowledge around cocoa farming best practices did not yet exist, Forrest purchased a cocoa farm in Brazil to allow the company to experiment and learn more about the science behind successful farming. This led to an in-depth examination into diseases and other factors affecting cocoa supply. 
This research continues to benefit smallholder cocoa farmers to this day. He was also a strong supporter of Mars' investment in sequencing the cocoa genome. This research opened a door to greater understanding of how to cultivate healthy cocoa trees. And true to Forrest's dedication to the industry, instead of keeping this information proprietary, Mars shared the scientific learnings publicly in service of advancing global research. In retirement, Forrest supported environmental preservation efforts, including the American Prairie Reserve and numerous American history projects, such as the Brinton Museum of Western and American Indian Art in Wyoming, the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation, and the Mars Hall of American Business at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. In 2006, Forrest was presented with France's highest order of merit by then French President Jacques Chirac. Five years later, in 2011, he was awarded the Order of Friendship by Russian President Medvedev, a recognition that honors Russian and foreign nationals whose work, deeds, and efforts are aimed at the betterment of relations with the Russian Federation and its people. Forrest was also an adventurer who loved exploring and would take his expedition ship to some of the most remote places on the globe. He often joined an annual trip of students from the Hotchkiss School to Antarctica. At the time of his passing, the company described him as a man who insisted repeatedly that everyone's work should be fun and meaningful. We now invite William Clements, Global Vice President of Mars Sponsorships, Premium Brands and Properties, who will help us induct his friend and associate Forrest into the Candy Hall of Fame.